Hello mga grade 10, this is Tutor Marife. Ang itututor ko ngayon ay all about recursive formula and explicit formula for a geometric sequence. So, maghahanap tayo ng common ratio and first five terms and also the explicit formula of a given recursive formula for a geometric sequence. Okay, so ang given ay ang recursive formula for the geometric sequence a sub n equals a sub n minus 1 times 2. Given then ang first term ng geometric sequence, it's equal to negative 3. Okay, refresher muna. Ano ba ang recursive formula for a geometric sequence? It's fixed. Recursive formula for a geometric sequence is equal to it's a sub n equals a sub n minus 1 times r. This is the fixed recursive formula for a geometric sequence. Any geometric sequence this is fixed. Okay? So, mas madaling intindihin itong recursive formula for a geometric sequence kung ito translate natin in words. Kasi, I am sure meron dyang mga estudyante na na-overwhelm dito sa mga notations na ginamit sa formula. Okay? Ang A sub N is simply the succeeding term. Pag sinabing succeeding term, it's the next in order. Sa Tagalog, kasunod na term. Okay? What is A sub N minus 1? Ang ibig lang sabihin niyan, it's the preceding term. Sa Tagalog, na una. Okay? What is R? R is the common ratio of the geometric sequence. Okay, tatandaan ninyo itong recursive formula. Oh, tignan natin yung given recursive formula. A sub n equals A sub n minus 1 times 2. Check nyo yung fixed format ng recursive formula for any geometric sequence. Ano ba yung nakamultiply doon sa A sub n minus 1 na notation? It's R. Therefore, yung pinapahanap na common ratio is actually the 2. This is your R. So, by inspection, no need to solve, yun na yung R. Yung nandito yung nakamultiply sa A sub N minus 1. Okay, next. Find the first five terms using the recursive formula. So, pag sinabing first five terms, ipa-plug in mo ang n equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Gagamitin mo yung recursive formula na binigay. Okay. So, let's solve for Oh, my first term na, it's given. This is equal to negative 3. So, review natin na sa recursive formula kasi, 
ginagamit mo ang initial value para makuha mo yung mga susunod pang terms. Ganun ang recursive formula. So, ito yung initial value natin. The first term of the geometric sequence with recursive formula of a sub n equals a sub n minus 1 times 2. Next, let's solve for a sub 2. So, to solve for a sub 2, this is your next term next to this. So, gagamitin mo yung preceding term niya. Ano ba ang preceding term? Yung nasa kaliwa ng a sub 2, which is the a sub 1. Multiply mo by your r. So, it's equal to, your first term is given, it's negative 3, thus your r is 2, therefore your a sub 2 equals negative 6. Quick review. When multiplying, determine first the sign of the answer by counting the number of negative signs in the factors. 1. If the number of negative signs is odd, the answer is negative. So, negative 6 ang answer. Okay? So, this is the second term. The first term is given. Next, A sub 3. This is your succeeding term. To solve for the succeeding term, preceding term times R. Ang preceding term ng third ay ang nasa kaliwa niya, which is the second term of the sequence. So, gagamitin mo yung nakuha mong sagot. It's negative 6 multiplied by your R2 the answer is negative 12. Next, fourth term of the sequence. Succeeding equals preceding times R. Since you're solving for the fourth term, you make use of its preceding term, yung nasa kaliwa niya, which is the third term. And it's equal to negative 12 times 2 equals negative 24. This is your fourth term. Next, fifth term. Succeeding term equals your preceding term times R. Ang preceding term ng fifth ay ang fourth. So this is A sub 4. And it's equal to, use your answer, it's negative 24 times 2. And it's equal to negative 48. Yan. Accomplish na natin ang find the common ratio, find the first five terms. Next is find the explicit formula for the given recursive formula of a geometric sequence. So, ang explicit formula ng geometric sequence is actually, ang basis mo is the general formula for a term of a geometric sequence. Ano ba yung general formula ulit? General formula... For a term of a geometric sequence. So, paulit-ulit ko nang nagagamit ito sa mga past videos natin. It's equal to A sub N equals A sub 1 R raised to N minus 1. So, dito magmumula ang iyong explicit formula. A sub N equals A sub 1. It's given. O, i-plug in mo lang. Negative 3. R, yun, yun yung una mong nakuha by inspection. Gumamit ka ng raised dot. 
written side by side ang a sub 1 at ang expression na r raised to n minus 1. So, anong operation between the two? It's multiplication. Kaya lang nagkataon kasi na a sub 1 is a constant, tapos r is also a constant, hindi mo pwedeng gawin ang writing side by side kasi magmumukhang 32, negative 32. So, hindi magmumukhang nagmumultiply ka ng negative 3 at ang expression na ano may base na 2. So, gumamit ka ng raise dot. Raise dot is also a symbol for multiplication. Huwag kang gagamit ng multiplication sign na x kasi grade 10 ka na. Ang x ay nagre-represent na kasi ng numbers. Kaya hindi na yon ginagamit na multiplication sign. Okay? So, negative 3 is your a sub 1. R is 2. Raise 2 and minus 1. Ito ang explicit formula for the geometric sequence with terms negative 3, negative 6, negative 12, negative 24, negative 48. Okay? Pag gusto mong i-validate itong mga nauna mong sagot, gamitin mo itong explicit formula. So, to solve for the first 5 terms, papalit-palitan mo yan ng 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Dapat ganito din ang lalabas na mga values. So, doon mo ma-validate kung tama ba yung nabuo mong explicit formula at kung tama ba yung mga nakuha mong first 5 terms gamit yung given recursive formula. Okay, this is for validation kung gusto mong mag-validate. Okay, so that's all. Please don't forget to subscribe. My YouTube channel is Tutor Marife MCP. Pakishare ito sa mga kapwa nyo grade 10 para mat may matutunan din. Schoolmate nyo o hindi nyo schoolmate, lahat ay welcome. Thank you very much.